Alex, that yeah. protocol E, how long did it take to develop the game? Uh, well, for, like this particular project has been going on for probably yeah. two years now. Well, a uh, year and a bit. Like, I mean, a uh, year and a half. Year and a half, yeah, yeah. Yeah, something, something like that. So, yeah, I guess that's the simple Maybe question. Conceptually, how long did that take? Um, I've had like a control scheme idea for a while. Like I've been wanting to. I don't know for how long. I've been. I've, been, I've had like a little prototypes going on here and there. Maybe up to three years ago. But the, the game itself, because uh, the, the game itself, uh, with all the fiction and with all the art style and like the setting of the universe, um, that really started coming to coming together maybe around about uh, you know a year ago. I, I, yeah. Year and a bit. Yeah. Yeah, a year and a bit. Yeah. So. Can you elaborate more on the control scheme because I got a bit. That control scheme is really really good. Oh okay. Um, so basically, um, around about that time, I was really into StarCraft, and um, I thought it's kind of unfair for people who can't really move their fingers that quickly. And a it's a, miles now, yeah, think. yeah, yeah, like you know, 300 actions per minute, and it's supposed to be a strategy game. And yeah. like, um, I just imagine Napoleon, you know, like sitting in his little tent and doing. <laughs> so it just seems a bit ridiculous. So um, really, um, it's you know, strategy should be about the thinking, should be about the tactics that. You, so and less about actions per minute and more about actual strategies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you should be the one telling your troops what to do, but the troops themselves should be doing the actions for you. So like, because um, you know they're supposed to be trained for that. Although it's a bit weird because these aren't actual troops. Uh, these are these are computer programs. Call them minions. It's easier. Yeah, minions. Uh, I mean, like, uh, what, I guess what I mean is they didn't go through any kind of training like a marine would because they're not they're not human. <laughs> but yeah. Funnily enough, these minions have a bit more uh, artificial intelligence than the Marines would. So. Oh yeah, yeah, they would, and that's the and that's how we're able. Because um, I guess the control scheme itself is really simple. Like the idea itself is like you know put the orders down and your troops do do what you tell them to. But like um, the the AI behind that, the back end that allows that to happen, is a bit it's a bit challenging. So um, that that's probably why it hasn't really become that popular. Because um, you know um, if you take a game like StarCraft, it's pretty popular and. Um, you know, it's got a big tournament scene around it, and it's like, I guess, uh, if it's working for Blizzard, then um, you know, why, why kind of change it? So, uh, like with us, uh, like with, with me in particular, I guess, um, like it's, I'm happy for them to exist in that location, yeah. and uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that we, we would be arrogant enough to try and take on Blizzard either, but like, it's just, they're two different things. This game having a big multiplayer component. Uh, I like the multi multiplayer. Yes, component. yes, absolutely. Um, so, like, one of the things that I really want. Uh, I'm a, I'm hu I was a huge fan of um, uh, uh, Defense of the Ancients back in the Warcraft three days. Yeah. Um, like, I'm not so much of a League of Legends fan, but like that big whole uh, MOBA scene where you you have minions around you, but you have a hero. Um, one of the things that really bugged me with that genre was you can't actually control the minions, even though you're supposed to have be this big ranking guy. Um, the, the minions around you just do their own thing. Yeah. So um, when in, the, in a multiplayer component, and one of the modes, um, like the, the big vision for me, is just basically like, um, like, yes, you've got minions doing their own thing, but when you want them to do something specific, they should listen to you. Because <laughs> um, you're this big ranking guy, right? Like, um, so think of a situation where, um, I don't know, you're a knight, and like, um, you've got all these other little knights um, going around assaulting the buildings, but let's say you want to say, hey, rally around me. Like in League of Legends, you can't do that. Yeah. So, like with this, um, that's that's basically the vision that I have for. So basically, trying to remove defending lanes and more about being on the offense. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or like, um, but it just really bugged me because that it's just the very fact that they're supposed to be helping you out, but they don't listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not an it's not purely an aesthetic thing either. It's more there's going to be a situation in the game where you have to rely on telling your troops to do a particular thing. Yeah, yeah. You can't just have them doing their own thing. You're going to have to tell them to do a particular thing if you want to get past a certain amount of enemies or something. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, so it's it's it, it's an idealistic approach to this game, but it, it, it does have its practical applications, and, yeah. it, and it does play very deeply into the gameplay. So it's... Um, yeah. Yeah. Have you two worked together for long? Uh, uh, game Jam 2012? 2012. Yeah, I reckon it's somewhere. Yeah, yeah. last year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, we won Game Jam 2013. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 20, 2013 champions, Game Jam, Game Jam Sydney. Yeah, represent. <laughs> what was that game? Oh, that was O2. Uh, it was just like an oxygen kind of. Like it's a, it's a really simple randomized kind of game, um, programmatically. But um, the, the we complicated it a bit by giving uh, giving the people names and giving you the choice between life and death. Uh, so basically, uh, do you want to do you want to go? Explain yeah, sure, it sure. Um, so basically, you're. Uh, your spaceship's crashed on a planet. 
there's no oxygen, your oxygen's running out, and you're the only survivor of the well, the only one who could still walk after the accident, so you've got to go around this uh, randomly generated um, uh, level. Yeah. And, and uh, also, like, the, the, the people, the survivors are also randomly placed. And so uh, you've got to basically just go uh, find, find the survivors, and you have a choice of whether to take the oxygen or give it to them. So, like, and there's, there's a lot of uh, strategy to it, so, like, uh, let's say if you find C, C2 astronauts just, like, on the opposite end of the level, and you think, well, I'm not going to have the oxygen to get there, but if I take this guy's oxygen, I can kill him, but I'll save two, I'll save two lives instead of one. Yeah. So a bit of morality to it. Yeah. 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 And um, add to that, it's like, let's say, let's say the person right next to you to take the oxygen was, like, a you know, 50-year-old school teacher. You'd be like, oh, okay, she's lived her life. And then you get to the other side, and you find that the two other guys are murderers. So you're like... <laughs> so um, every every game's different to an extent. It's a very very simple concept, but uh, it, it's it's um it's um we might we might be developing it further down the line. Maybe, maybe once this is uh, got got a bit yeah. more legs, but um, and you're shooting for a December release, correct? Sorry, what's uh, that? Hopefully for a December release. Oh, critical, yeah, yeah, like the first, um, first release. Yeah, because yeah, um, that's going to be the arcade version where, where um, there's like three story levels and the rest is just challenges. Because um, we can't just we can't release this all in one go like a big game. So um, we're going to be releasing it in slivers. So, like kind of like a, a paid alpha, if you will. Uh, well, it's it's not really a paid alpha that one. It's it's like a I'd say that's probably a full fully functioning game. It's just it doesn't have um, it doesn't have any story element. Uh, well, it doesn't have as much story elements. So like the, basically just mostly all gameplay just to introduce the control scheme, just to introduce the name to the public. Um, but the uh, the other ones were it's going to have like all like all of the story that Christian Reed, he's our writer, um, that's going to have all the story that he wants inside. So basically, um, gameplay thing at the beginning, and then um, episodes, proper story episodes later on. And then on the side of that, while that's going on, we're going to try and see if we, if we can get the multiplayer started. Nice. So, and no microtransactions. Uh, I think um, not. Uh, I mean, like it's a bit hard. Like uh, we'll just say no. No. <laughs> For now. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Critical is looking very fantastic. Thanks. Thank you very, very, much. very good. Very Thanks. good vision. I love everything about it. Alex, oh. Matt, nice talking to you guys. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks Joy. Thank Hope you. Hope the expert. Thank you. Yeah.